Peptic ulcer disease is ulceration that is present in the stomach and or duodenum caused by an imbalance between protective and damaging factors in the mucosa. An ulcer in the stomach is called a gastric ulcer, while one in the first part of the intestines is a duodenal ulcer. Symptoms Epigastric pain is the most common symptom. The most common symptoms of a duodenal ulcer are waking at night with upper abdominal pain and upper abdominal pain that improves with eating. With a gastric ulcer, the pain may worsen with eating. The pain is often described as a burning or dull ache. Symptoms include belching, vomiting, weight loss, or poor appetite. Some people have no symptoms, especially older people. Complications, bleeding, perforation, and blockage of the stomach. Bleeding occurs in 15% of cases. Most often caused by Helicobacter pylori in 70-90% to of cases. And usage of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Tobacco smoking, alcohol, and stress increase the risk of peptic ulcer. The diagnosis, symptoms with confirmation by either endoscopy or barium swallow x-ray. H. pylori can be diagnosed by testing the blood for antibodies, a urea breath test, testing the stool for signs of the bacteria, or a biopsy of the stomach. Lifetime prevalence of peptic ulcer disease is 5% to 10%. Duodenal ulcers, EU, are more common than gastric ulcers, PU. Incidence of bleeding is the same for both ulcers. DUs occur in the first portion of the duodenum, greater than 90% of cases. DUs are rarely malignant, hence, they are usually not biopsied. GUs occur in the lesser curvature near the incisor or angularis. Fewer than 3% are malignant, which is the reason why they are biopsied. Recurrence rate for untreated peptic ulcer disease is tilde 60% of cases in non-smokers and greater than 70% in smokers. Prevention of peptic ulcer disease for those who are taking NSAIDs at a proton pump inhibitor, PPI, an H2 antagonist, or mesoprostol. NSAIDs of the COX-2 inhibitors type may reduce the rate of ulcers when compared to non-selective NSAIDs. Treatment The first-line treatment is a triple regimen in which pantoprazole and erythromycin are combined with either amoxicillin or metronidazole. For 7-14 to 14 days. Quadruple therapy, pantoprazole, clarithromycin, amoxicillin, and metronidazole. The quadruple therapy can achieve an eradication rate of 90%. NSAID-associated ulcers heal in 6-8 to eight weeks stop taking them and add a proton pump inhibitors, PPI.